Hello, and welcome back. I'm just going to address this right now. Um, you may have noticed a very sporadic posting of Baldur's Gate. Uh, I am going to be killing the series, I'm afraid. Um, mostly because the numbers have been, like, really horrendously bad. And uh, this is like a, you know, potentially 200 to 300 hour game. And I just, uh, I don't have the time to dedicate to a series that not very many people are uh, enjoying. So, um, I, I'm sorry, this is the last episode, but, um, you know, I'm going to keep the save file, um, you know, protected, uh, in the sense that like, if there is call for this in the future, if I don't know, somehow things change or I decide that I want to come back to it. And when there isn't like a bazillion games coming out, um, you know, rainy day situation, I may, uh, return and, and do more for this series. I didn't want to just like, I don't know, kill the series without saying anything. And I didn't want to like leave people hanging. Um, I didn't want to just like do what I've done before for other series where I just kind of like leave it, um, and, and say nothing. So, uh, that, that is why I have decided to do one more episode and, um, well, you know, at least we get closure on what's in here, which right now is like silverware. Um, we may, I don't know, tie up a loose end here or there. Um, I, I think like partially my theory is that most people who really want to experience Baldur's Gate 3 are doing so for themselves and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm always grateful if people, uh, you know, choose me to get their fix for like whatever YouTube based, uh, enjoyment, um, when it comes to how you enjoy your content, how you enjoy, um, you know, various kind of games and stuff like that. It, it means a lot to me and, uh, you know, it, it can't always work out. Sometimes uh, a game is just like, I don't know, it's too, too special to, to be um, enjoyed on YouTube. You gotta, you gotta play it for yourself and I totally respect that. Uh, Tav is gonna go ahead and unlock this door. Go ahead and unlock this door for his tab. <laughs> well, thank God he's got eight bajillion uh, bonuses because he almost critically failed that. I don't think that there's like anything here. Oh, what? What is up with all these deep gnomes getting killed? Speak to the dead. Can't talk to any of them. The corpse does not respond. Dang. Ah, there's someone I can talk to. How come I can recast Speak with the Dead? I don't really understand how that works. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Uh, who killed you? Let's start with that. Ooh. Um, what is your profession? Where are your valuables? Sure. Okay. Who are you? Okay. Um, what happened to you? God. Interrogate. I think that's it, right? Oh, I get one more. Uh, what were, where are you from? Uh, what were you doing here? Threat to Baldur's Gate. Jahira's orbs. Hmm. Jahira? Can't say I know the name. Then why are you the speaking? The power wanes. You can ask no more questions. So you get five questions? We're gonna try and um, get some closure on this. I really do want to find the Adamantine Forge. Um... It's it's something I re was really interested in and I got a little bit distracted, but um, Maybe maybe it's the last thing we can do before before I end things um, So we're gonna I never played with these levers like ever. Let's see if we can do that the, We'll have to split the party up Honestly, there's no reason why I can't have all three go Okay, so I have 
more or less Which everyone over here so except shot. for Tav. Everyone's gonna have to take some damage. I guess I didn't have to miss this. Oh my god. Karlak, why? Soldier. Please, please do not jump back up there. Okay, thank thank you. Hey. Okay. Uh well this is a good sign. I'm seeing lots of molds. Who's who is these got goons? Animated armor. Oh no. Okay, well, um, we're gonna jump down. Waypoint discovered. This is good. What is this? Help the cursed monk. Well, we're on the right track there. Let's get on. And Tab can get over here as well. By the way, I saw I saw an alternate route. Oh my god! You guys really need to cool it. I didn't see the skeleton here. Wow, dark Duchesir helm. While obscured by shadow, the wearer gains plus one to saving throws when attacked. Cool. And a scimitar mold. That's quite nice. All right, so let's get down there. A bit of a damage, but it's fine. We have a splint mold. Got tons of molds. We're going to need them. Uh, what does this say? Scribbled note. Read. Must find new sources. Nearby mithril veins are near depletion, and the quantities required for Brother Silov's uh, most recent project were uh, considerable. Some of the acolytes have taken to calling it Grim, for the place it was made, though never within Brother Silov's hearing. Let's see. That's how the place got its name. Got a pearl. Useful for spell casting. Okay, I don't want to do, make the same mistake I made before by... I don't know, sneaking around. And then getting myself caught in a uh, an encounter. But I think I should be okay to go up here. I really want to find the hammer. There's, I know there's a hammer that's going to defeat the guardian that's watching over the uh, adamantine forge. Look at all the incense. Scroll of vampire. Wow, 200 gold. Forge construction log. This is all good stuff. This decaying tomb details the scientific and arcane principles behind the great forge's construction. The results of multiple experiments are explained in exhausting detail. Hammer test... 2.5.66.8 The forge is functional but operating at a scant one-third of its full potential. At current facilitation values, the hammer can force various iron alloys into molds, but adamantine remains unmoved and unmarked, increasing levels of hypertorque to 6.94, doubling magma heat values. Test looks unsuccessful, so hot was the magma that the adamantine shattered entirely under the force of the hammer. The Properties of superheated adamantine are intriguing, but I seek to mold it, not crush it. Maintaining hypotorque levels, reducing magma heat values by one-fifth. So this is uh, potentially giving me um, insight into um, actually forging with adamantine, which I imagine is more difficult than it might seem. Hey, well, here's a hammer, but that's very likely not the hammer we need. I'm guessing the hammer we need is a lot more uh, significant in nature. Here's some stuff. What is this? A dusty book. Praise be to the Lady of Lost. She has, through Sister Enzar, taught Brother Siluv the true nature of our lives. That they are lost. They are lost and nothing but lost. Though through that sorrowful lesson he has turned from his fame and following and come to us into the lady's loving embrace but he has no not left everything behind the man once known as sulu Vialli brings with him his miracles of metallurgy Meta metallurgy this dark alloy adamantine will let us spread the dark lady's will with new fervor cool 
all good information. Storl of Enlarged, Short Sword, Candle. I mean, I'm picking up the candle for various reasons. Mace Mold will um, put us over the limit. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give all of the molds to Karlak just so that, you know, they are neatly all in one place and also not in my inventory. Jesus, the, the inventory system really refuses to work sometimes. Okay. And I guess I'll give all these short swords to Karlak as well. Also, they should go in wares. Karlak, there we go. No one is over encumbered. Um, torch on the ground. So... That looks like the forge down there, I ain't gonna lie. But um, I'm curious as to what we're dealing with up here. I kind of want to do a combat. Um, be nice to do a combat, at least one. Group mode, group hide. Everyone's stealthing. What was that sound? Scale male mold. Good stuff. They're really waiting. They're waiting, but I, I see them. You guys are not being very stealthy. Wow. I really don't understand how stealth works in this game. You would think that if you're stealthing within vision, you would be able to make a stealth check. That's what those are for. But that doesn't well, seem to be well. the case. It's fine. Easy, I, easy. I, no, I'm not bothered by it at all, to be honest. What comes now? We're just going to do a combat. We'll see how bad this is. Um, they're adamantine. Oh, they're adamant. Oh, sorry, not adamant. Animated armor. There's one hiding around the corner. Well, have, um... You're gonna have to figure out some something creative here. Oh, lies before me. Can we do oh we can't do a jump over there. Okay. We can come here and do a hide. Can't risk being an open view. And then can we do a sneak attack on one of them? Path is interrupted. I assume path is interrupted on that other guy. No, it's not. No, it is. Path inter is interrupted, okay. Um, you know what? We could do a Misty Step. I am probably going to do a Long Rest pretty soon. Are we still hiding? Yes, we are. So then we'll do a... Could do a, a normal Sneak Attack. Not enough movement. Okay, never mind. Never ends up uh, being that I do a, a normal Sneak Attack. Enemy Sightless. Sightline, sorry. They're giving me tutorials that they should have been giving me like a long time ago. It's fine. I'm sure they're gonna make a mess of me in the next turn. Um, we could do a dash. Protection from good and evil. I don't know if that's gonna help us. Oh, we also have Misty Step. Right, because uh, that is a Githyanki move, I think. She would have advantage on this animated armor. I'm not sure why. Oh, Underdog's Bravery, that's why. Okay, um, Smacko. Nice. She gets more than one turn now, which is great. Um, we could take an action surge. Sure, why not? Let's do like a weakening strike or concussive smash. Miss on advantage. That sucks. Okay. We missed twice. We missed three times. We okay. We hit on the on the fourth straight. Fourth time's the charm. That's how that works. Nice. That's that's actually bad. I don't want I don't want damage on Lazel actually. Okay, let it, let us put an end to this man here. I'm a turgy. What? Oh, right. Not, me not metallurgy. Not metallurgy, but, um, amaturgy. All right. 
this is until short rest or long rest on short rest well we're probably going to take a short rest after this if not a long one so let's go into rage may as well and uh did we take a action oh no that was a that was our bonus action right let's just do a lacerate we can't really lacerate an armor i don't think immune to bleeding that's what i thought so we just wasted that it's fine Ready. shadow heart um let's get over there and heal car or not car like a uh, lazel moving we do a healing word on lazel yep cool And let's just do some fireball. I don't expect that to hit, but it's my best ranged attack, maybe. I should actually, like, confirm that. So we're not hiding anymore. We should do a hide and then a sneak attack. Boop. I like how he fell over. That was really good. Let's do an offhand attack on the other one. Miss! That's not what we want. We don't want miss. Nice. Uh, I was hoping we could just kill that guy here. <clears throat> Critical miss and they shot shadow heart. So she gets to attack back. Um, it is shadow hearts turn. So she's going to move up here and maybe we can do something a bit more interesting. Yeah, the this is actually what much better can we actually kill this guy yeah sacred flame is much better for that um i'll go ahead and is this a bonus action let's do a mass healing word nice all right let's um do i think we want like maybe a distracting Giving your allies advantage? No. Distract your target? No, not, neither of those are very good. Can we enrage throw him? <laughs> we can, but it's at disadvantage. Let's just attack him. Reckless attack. Sure. He's dead. Um, Just the one more. I'll m make my way over there. Oh god, Karlak has such amazing, like, move distance. Alright, so, um, I think we're out of range of their sight, so we can do a hide. Any attention right now. And then, can we hit them from there? No, but we might be able to move forward. Yeah. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and hit them with an offhand. That was also a really good roll. They're almost dead already. Um, can't do a rush attack, but we can just rush them down and attack. Hit them. There we go. Perfect. Good combat. Easy peasy. Um, actually, I'm just gonna have Karlak loot the bodies. While I'm at it. Pick up add to wares, pick up add to wares. I wish there was a short hit, like short key for that. Pick up add to wares, pick up. Oh, she's over encumbered. All right, we're gonna have to deal with that. She is picking, uh, she is carrying quite a lot of stuff. We need to reach a merchant. Um, send this to Shadowheart. I know she, Shadowheart's not carrying very much. Um, anything else over here? Animated armor. How heavy is that? Would that put her over? No. There is a scale male mound. That's probably going to put her over. Yep. Um, send this to Shadowheart. Send this to Shadowheart. Send this to Shadowheart. Send this to Shadowheart. Why is that considered stealing? weird 
Okay, we're we're almost done in this area. Ooh, there's actually quite a lot of stuff going on over here. Ooh. Maybe I'm reading too into it, but that looks like a chunk of adamantine to me. Um pretty sure Lazel is a tiefling and has uh, reduced the damage taken from like heat. So I could have her move down here. I'm assuming she can hang out over here and not absolutely eat it. Survival failed. Mithril vein. Immune to slashing damage. I'm sure we have more than our fair share of hammers. In fact, Karlak might even have one on her. Um, she doesn't seem to. Enough waiting. I crave blood. I crave blood. All right, uh, Maul, send this to Karlak. Karlak, where? Please use the mall. There we go. And for our trouble, we have some mithril ore. We're gonna be able to like make two or three things, probably, is how I foresee this going. Damn, look at all the lava. Also, there's supposed to be a cursed monk around here somewhere. Is he down there? Ready to burst. Oh, there's a lava elemental down there. I'm just wondering, okay, there's definitely a path to get there that does not require jumping from here. I am wondering at some point when they're going to be like, oh, the only way to get down to this thing is by using a feather fall and like floating down. All right, so let's do, do we have a short rest? No, we don't. Let's do a long rest. Take a long rest and fully heal your party. I know all about that. Um, and we're just gonna go to bed. I know that Gail wants to talk to me and I don't care. <sighs> All right, no, no uh, story stuff. You're going to have to forgive the racket in the background. All right, let's get down to that forge. I really wanted to check this out. I'll give it a shot. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe the cursed monk has Centuries the uh, hammer we need. heat have smoothed away the plaque's inscription. Uh, there's another chunk of mithril over there. So let's get down here and then have Karlak. Karlak's still not part of the team. Oh, I make that mistake a lot, don't I? Hey, good looking. Me? I am going to have her go down there and uh, smash that mithril. Uh, she's still using a... Um, a hammer isn't she we'll probably want to switch her back once we've we've done this gotten this done ouch adamantine forge you know it's really funny i saw like it was really hard to avoid headlines for guides and all kinds of stuff yeah i figured there was going to be a, some kind of business here Oh, that sucks. Um, only Cav and Karlak are in this combat, so I really need to get... Oh, God, I really don't like how this jump feature is treated. Alright. 
um people i saw headlines like how to how to make sure you don't miss the adamantine forge it's so missable i'm like i don't know dude seems uh pr pretty easy to find tbh maybe maybe i'm wrong out of sight out of mind so these are just like the normal imps kind of thing that we were fighting in the beginning of the game these guys should be easy peasy we just did 31 damage to that guy rip good lord um they rolled a 27 luck of the farm oh we're just making it a critical oh my god okay uh never mind this might not be easy there's like 14 more imps now Carlax taking some nasty damage. Ow. And she dropped her hammer. Well, that's actually not a bad thing, to, to, to be honest. On the move. Okay, um. Lazelle's not gonna be able to make it, so she's just gonna go ahead and make, take a normal shot. It's not gonna be very good, because her range is not all that. Oh, she killed one. That's nice. Go time. Okay, Karlak, let's put the battle axe plus one back in your hand. Can we put the studded shield back in your hand? Nope, because that's another bonus action. Actually, that's just a normal action. Good lord. <clears throat> Alright, well, go ahead and frenzy up. Um, seven damage. Just jump down there. See if we can do a. Can we, oh, we can't. I, I need to not jump as Shadow Heart ever. I'm assuming Firebolt is not going to do it. Do we not have a ranged weapon on. Wow. Shadow Heart does not have a ranged weapon. That's why I've been using this Firebolt so often. I'm assuming these guys are immune to fire. Yeah. Um. Position kind of sucks for Tav a little bit. Breathe quiet. Mostly because they can see me. Can't have disadvantage. Path is interrupted. Path is interrupted. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> this really sucks. And I don't have enough movement. What What is going on with Tav having no movement always? He seems to like have nothing. Scroll of fly. I don't know. That's really valuable. I don't think I want to use that. All right. Let's just do a missy step. That's why I gave it to him. It's a good thing for him to have. It allows him to do attacks when normally he would not have. These guys are, I mean, uh, you know, individually, they're not a problem. Uh, collectively, they are a huge problem. So these guys are seem to be able to make me drop my weapon, which sucks. Let's do a misty step down there with Lazil. Why, 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 you know, mess around? Nice. That's fine. At least there's another target down here. Um, so is my... Yeah, my battle axe is on the ground. I gotta pick it up. I gotta put it back in my hand. And all of that requires quite a lot of, um... You know, movement. <laughs> At least she has the ability to pick it up, put it in her hand, and still uh, kill something. Good old Carlac doesn't let me down, you know? I, I see. They're heating up the weapon so much that they're dropping it because they're, they're, the, 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 the weapon is too spicy. Too spicy. That's what's happening. Not sure what I should be doing with Shadowheart. I don't know what I like with her right now. 
Nearby enemies take yeah, this is not good for her right now Um, she's better off when she's like in the pile, but she isn't right now This guy has put me in the threat zone so I'm gonna have to disengage hide and then attack him Unless I want to take an attack of opportunity, which I don't mind honestly Three damage, whatever Of course now he's looking at me that's that's why I should disengage. Okay, good to know in the future. Oh, you can just die, dude. How about that one? I mean, I was gonna kill you anyway, so. I am death. So, uh, how come? Are you okay? You are where using your weapon, right? That's good smack Smack Let's do an action surge. Why not? Smack Easy Um, hoping that these guys have some kind of ingredient they do onyx huh? We are gonna do a short rest Heart-shaped rock. We've got all kinds of interesting stuff. Do we still have our weapon in our hand? That's good. Let's put our buckler back in our other hand. Have go ahead and pick up all the stuff. Oh, use for oil of combustion. Yep. Just pick up all the things. And then we'll do a short rest. Cool. Can change the prepared spells at any time outside of combat. Oh, I mean, that's cool. Honestly, do we want to do that? My face protects me. I'm not sure what Shadowheart does or has. Um, this is interesting. I actually haven't really looked at this menu too much. I guess the only person that has spells is Carla, or uh, Shadowheart. What is this? Glyph of Warden. When stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. Blindness. All right. Um, Lazel is actually using hammer, so I'm gonna have her attack this mithril vein. Sharan Registry. Let's, let's have a look at that. We're getting close. A registry of proud followers recruited by her loyal paladin, Catheric Thorm. Pages upon pages of names fill this book. Some are only nicknames. Others consist of multiple noble not titles. All of them are scratched out and annotated with no longer. Swift as my feet can carry me. Make sure that Karlak picks up the small again. And let's move on. We're, we're, we're so close. I keep like getting distracted by stuff, but... Wait, did I pick up? There was a... Wasn't there a mold over here? I think I already picked it up. I guess I, it was the mithril ore that I wanted. This must be the forge. What a sight to behold. Okay, mold chamber. Forge lever. An opening in the middle. That mold should fit perfectly. I'm assuming all the molds are on Karlak. So what do we have? We have scale mail, uh, shield mold, might be nice. Mace mold, splint mold, scimitar mold. No longsword? There we go. I wouldn't mind a longsword or a great axe. A uh, knife would be nice. Uh, scale mail is tempting, except I don't think that anyone can use it except for maybe Tav. Who's using, is anyone using scale mail? Medium armor, light armor, <clears throat> medium armor, 
medium armor. Huh. Can we not do better than this gift thing? You know, it's 15 AC. 15 AC. Scale mail. Oh, that's scale mail, not chain mail. Wait, what? What did I? What? What was I thinking? Splint mold, mace mold, shield mold. Okay, we could scale mail would actually be really good if we got everyone in scale mail, since it, apparently it's it's only medium. Um, that would be pretty decent. I have to assume that would be an improvement. But we're not done yet. <clears throat> I know that, uh, you know, we want to uh, use the forge and make some new equipment, but I am assuming that there is more yet. Over here. I'm going to do a save. This seems like really dangerous business. So we gotta time things. This lava elemental is kind of scary. Making me sweat. I like it. That is no mere fire elemental. It drips with lava. This is really, really difficult to do with a full party. Proceed. Magmatic disturbance. Okay. Um. Don't know what we can do over here. I kind of want to jump over there. I know it's gonna hurt. But I'm not sure what the alternative is exactly. We're gonna have to do this one at a time. Um, oh, actually, we're good. I didn't realize that it... Carlac, go. Carlac, go. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, just barely made it, I guess. All right, what do we got? We got th Still something alive. we have to unlock with Tav. Adamantine chest. Difficulty class 20. Should be able to pull this off, maybe. I'll re-roll it if not. Oh, perfect. Sentient amulet. Talk to the sentient amulet. Key restoration. Interesting. Um, this is our first sentient magic item. Scroll of Sleet Storm. I bet you that's really effective against that lava elemental, huh? Let's put that on, I don't know, Shadowheart? Oh, has come. <laughs> the amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Cleric of Shar Wisdom, grit your teeth, summon your god's wrath. Advantage. Oh, I should have used, there was an extra bonus I could have applied. Oh, well. You know a fury more beautiful, more devastating than any. It wraps you in a comforting embrace. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Thou art the one! Return me! Take me home! And thou shalt grow with blessings! Okay. Return you where? To whom? To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwen. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in worms. What's, what's with the mixing going all over the place? 
And thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> Multi-class in a monk time? Are you a ghost? What happened to you? A ghost? <laughs> I am sunlight on water, dew on grass. Charles broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> okay. Thou shalt return me home. It is written. Um. Examine the amulet. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. Consider the inscribed image. What could it mean? You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander, god of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness this spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. Um. Focus on this entity. What are its intentions? Good rolls. <clears throat> Good rolls for this Beneath stuff. The rampant joy you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. I will take you to your granddaughter at Worms Crossing. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> Stow the amulet. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Okay, cool stuff. Um... I'm interested in maybe some of the lore involving that character. I'd like to know, uh, like we could try and kill this magma or la lava elemental. Let's uh, give it a go. I'm going to start by casting Sleet. Does that, that does that do nothing? I I don't think that there's any reason to do this other than like it might be extra experience. I don't think that uh, there's any reason not to do it. It's level six. It's probably gonna do some nasty damage. I won't lie. Um, magmatic disturbance, temporarily hostile. We can do a sneak attack. Do we not have advantage? Okay, we'll have to hide. For careful footwork. I don't think it... It doesn't have very much damage. Or, uh, sorry, health. <laughs> I don't think that there's any reason to cast the Sleet. Probably I shouldn't have done that, but I don't know. It, it just seemed like they were giving it to me for a reason. Maybe I shouldn't read things into that. Like, I, I shouldn't read that into things as much. Uh, give your allies advantage on their next attack roll against it. Go to an enemy into attacking you against disadvantage on attack rolls against anyone but you. Let's try, let's do that. Cool, they're goaded. Okay, Shadowheart, um, let's do a Guiding Bolt. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna hold back at all on this guy. I, I have to assume he's gonna be pretty tough. Throw out a uh, Warhammer. Lazel, um, I don't know if you have much you can do. Shrouded in Shadow. Um, let's do like a hamstring shot. Nice. Just shoot normally. I'm assuming this guy's gonna make his way over here. I'm, I'm really kind of worried about what his turn is gonna look like. He gained 54 health. He gained all of his health back. 
he gained all of his health back. All of it. Um, well that sucks. I'm gonna throw Tav over here. And then have him hide. And then do a sneak attack. Oh, is, he, is he seriously not close enough? There we go. Uh, I, okay, it's fine. I'm going to assume that all fire damage is just going to heal him, so I'm, I don't want to do that. We're going to frenzy. We're going to go attack him. I'm Maybe lacerating would be a bad idea. He has melt the earth. I want to see what this what this is. Hold on, T. Presence of this creature disturbs nearby lava, making it bubble and explode. Lava pools in this creature's footsteps. Um, regains 20 to 120 hit points when starting a turn in lava. So we need to cool this guy down. Do I have anything on me right now that could do that? Arrow of Ice could do that for sure. Except I stood right in front of him. So I'll have to try it on my next turn. I don't think he... He, I'm pretty sure he is standing in lava right now. I mean, that's, you know, makes sense. So we gotta, we gotta make sure that he doesn't have lava at his feet. I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity. It's gonna hurt, but, um, Karlak has the arrow of ice. I'm assuming that we might have something similar on someone else. I don't know if Shadowheart has anything... That could really help. Curse a creature with touch. With your touch, the curse either bestows disadvantage on checks, saving throws, or attacks. Let's do that. Select variant. Charisma, constitution, dexterity, intelligence, strength, wisdom, attack, disadvantage. Bestow curse additional damage. Curse a creature with your touch, it fills them with dread, possibly skipping its turn. Let's do like additional damage. Cool, they are cursed. Um I use a healing word on Karlak. Lazel, do you have any? Yes, you have an arrow of ice. Perfect. So let's go ahead and use that. Arrow of ice. Mm, that doesn't seem to have worked. Mm, we can try again. He saved against it. <clears throat> Okay, he seems to be able to just like make as much lava as possible Is there anything else that might help arrow of darkness construct slaying accuracy Poison I don't think I can poison this guy Probably shouldn't have used my action surge if I didn't have anything to do with it um well, our, our animated uh, weapon is going to do some damage. We got him down to half health a second time. He just healed full health again. I, I, this is dumb. I'm out. I, I tried to put as much ice on the floor as possible, but he just... Uh, he just go ahead, He just creates it again. So, uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this guy. I'm going to leave him alone for now. I've, I've spent enough time not doing anything with the forge. I'd really like to do something with it. And I only have the, the male mold. Here's my concern is I'm not sure if the mold is reusable. So it'd be, it would kind of suck if I make the one scale male and then uh, I have like kind of nothing left I can make. I could make scimitars, I suppose, but I, no one can use a scimitar. 
I don't think anyone can is proficient with the scimitar. So one of those strange like things where it's it's just not very helpful. Are we gonna are we gonna load? Are we loading though? Yo, are we loading though? There we go. Is this before I did all that other stuff? No, it isn't. Okay. Um, I think I can just use the waypoint to jump out so I don't have to do that. Can't slow down. I don't have to mess with lava, dude. And yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can't make something with the adamantine forge. We've got some mithril. I think I've got enough mithril to make at least three people. Um, items. Making me sweat. Okay. Mold ejection lever. All right, let's. let's so we're gonna put in the. Um, god damn it. Scale mail. We do have a splint mold, so someone could use that. Scale mail mold. Insert. First. Something worth forging. Something worth forging. Okay. Um, next, I'm assuming we need to next? put something, some, some, uh, Mithril in the forge somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that makes the hammer come down. Okay, so the scale mill is reusable. So what is this scale mill mold? It's, it's just in there again. Um, I knew this was going to be a little bit confusing. I love that Shadow Heart just has refused to jump down. Oh my god. I, it really bugs me every single time when I have to jump anyone over. I'm not sure where to put the Mithril. It might be down there, actually. I noticed there's a second or separate floor to this whole business. Okay, I am struggling with the camera. A lot, actually. I got I got stuck in a corner. Um, so I think I need to get downstairs, and I'm not sure how. Could try like a misty step. Is there an alternative path down there? I'm not seeing anything. All right, so I'm just gonna have someone misty step. But we'll just have Tav do this. Stayed interesting. I'm sure there's a ladder very obviously somewhere. Uh, I'm not seeing it, so it is not going to bother me. Doesn't look like I can like I can misty step down there. Uh, I might be able to. I might have to jump over here and then. Misty step back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's have a look down here. Platform control. There we go. Oh, that was uh, interesting. So how would I... How would I have gotten down here normally? I like, I really want to see any kind of path. I'm not seeing one. 
I don't think that there would have I don't think there's any other way I could have gotten down here strange Okay, so let's see lava value Um, I do have Notes on how I'm supposed to do this, right? I think Tav got some notes Shipment orders great furnace of Grimforge Built the great forge which would heat mithril with such vigors as to turn it to adamantine with this astonishing metal it could mold the finest blades and armor yet the jewel of yali's eye was not the forge itself but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it constructs said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spade okay is that the lava elemental i wonder Place the ore mole into their perspective chambers. Pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting. Oh, I need a ha this is to tell this is telling me how to build uh, the hammer. Okay, well interesting, but not not exactly what I wanted. Um, give me a second to try and find the the one specific note in here. All right, I couldn't find it, so I'm just gonna have to wing it, I think. Um. Okay. No use. It's blocked. It's blocked. Okay. Not sure if maybe I'm supposed to fix something before this works. Hope I don't have to fix the the magma. I wonder if I have to the easy path. kill that lava dude in order for this to work forge lever um hmm here goes nothing i'm not seeing a place for um for mithril like where do i put the mithril Ah, uh, this is this is gonna be challenging, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna have Carlyx uh, like officially stationed here, just just to shove this mold back in. Although Tav should have it, he should have it. Oh, it's at the bottom. Did I do I have a, a hammer mold? I wonder. Scale mail. Scimitar, splint, mace. Still don't have a hammer mold. Okay. Okay, you're here. Tev, um, let's try playing with this again. No. Okay. So we can't raise or lower the platform again. It's that's it. Mold ejection layer lever. So where do we put the mithril? <laughs> I know we put it somewhere. We have to put it somewhere. There's just no way. I really don't want to look this up. Here we go. It seems to be stuck. There's no way that this is going to work, right? I'm not seeing anywhere I can put the mithril. I really hope I don't have to go back up because I don't even know how I, how I'm gonna do that in the first place. Lots of questions, lots of questions I don't have answers for. Give me a second. Okay, turns out I'm an idiot. Right, all right. So you just, not enough space. It's the crucible. <laughs> I didn't see it, and I was holding alt 
and trying to see it as a interactable and I didn't so I don't know maybe I'm not an idiot who knows um okay so we've got the scale mail uh apparently the splint mail is nice heavy armor you can only make two items yeah I, I, I looked it up I had to look it up sorry you know sucks um we've already got scale mail plus one on Karlak. Um, what else is giving her armor? I guess the shield. So I don't think that the scale mail, um, the adamantine scale mail is just like AC 16. AC bonus from dexterity limited to two. Take one less slashing damage, disadvantage on stealth checks. Uh, like I could put this scale mail on Lazel. So she would get an upgrade and Lazel would get an upgrade. I'm thinking, I, I, I know it seems a, a rather unfair, but I'm thinking I'm going to put adamantine armor and the uh, shield on Lazel. I think that that would be pretty good. There is apparently a longsword mold, but I don't know where it is and I don't feel like looking for it, to be honest. Um, so this seems like a good enough, uh, you know, split the difference. So we're going to do scale mail. The alternative, I'm just thinking, the alternative is she, we could go for splint and then give Karlak the feat to be proficient with it. Let me just have a quick look at her um, character sheet. Uh, proficiencies. Tags. Not sure where to find, oh yeah, here we go. Martial weapons. Didn't I, did I give someone martial proficiencies or uh, our heavy weapon proficiencies i don't think i did if there's one person that could use it it would be carlac because she's definitely the you know like in in the front a lot so i could take i could take splint mail and with the intention of giving carlac a proper upgrade in the future all right let's let's do that let's do that Scale mail, we're gonna do splint mold. And I'm pretty sure we just then hit the forge. She'll still get an upgrade. Saddle up. Did that not work? I'm missing heat. Lava. Right. Still well, I thought we tried lava. Oh, oh, and here's the here's the forge, the the construct. Oh no, I don't have anything to defeat this dude. He looks really cool. That thing looks really, really cool. Oh God. Just happened to be in like the worst place possible. Everyone else was fine. Victory awaits. Where's Shadowheart? Oh, she's up here. God damn it. How is she even going to get down there? She's not in the combat. Can I technically give her new spells? Can she take Feather Falling? Uh, hmm. This is like really bad. <laughs> Whose turn is it right now? It is Lazel's. This thing has 300 health and uh it also is superheated which means what oh it's got resistances up the wazoo exposure to heat lava has caused uh grim's adamantine body to soften can now be affected by certain damage types and is vulnerable to bludgeoning damage good to know lazel lazel does have um you know 
I'm thinking um, it's really stupid, but I'm thinking I might just jump down. So you're going to take 25 damage, which is actually not too bad. She'll do a, a full heal on her turn. Um, Victory awaits. So I think I just attack him. Lazel's one of the, got one of the few weapons that can actually hurt him. Can I wonder if he's affected by spells? Are you affected by spells? Cold resistance, bludgeoning damage is the only one he seems to be affected by. Dark vision, vengeful guardian, opportunity attack. Um, Karlak giving him uh like goading him would be pretty good i'm just gonna attack wow that really does do nice damage let's do a uh, concussive smash did i like knock him prone actually let's uh take an action surge this seems like a good time as any possibly knock your enemy prone weakening strike let's do that I'm assuming poison's not gonna do it a darn thing. Oh, I missed. Not a good time to be missing. Okay, um, Karlak. We're gonna need you to do a goading attack. Disadvantage on attack rolls against anyone but you. 35% that's really bad what about a distracting strike same 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 business I wonder if moving forward would help nope okay um I mean I'm gonna try it anyway 35% is not zero and we did it we actually did it critical hit i don't know if they're goaded though doesn't seem like they are <laughs> one damage Ooh. okay they're up nice getting up animation i appreciate that please don't attack tab awaken what does that mean what about shadow heart's turn whatever um how do i get my underdog attack uh, effect i wonder let's try backbreaker yes continue to be th prone it's really working for you Um, let's frenzy. I really... Oh, you know what? karlak has got a hammer. Karlak has a hammer. Let's use it. <laughs> Not enough. Oh, she doesn't have an action. Okay, well, that's fine. She's going to be helpful nonetheless. Um, let's do a mass healing word. That's a bonus action. We'll still be able to do some stuff. I'm thinking let's throw some uh, duplic uh, duplicity. I'm just like not taking any chances with this guy. I said that about the lava dude, but I actually think I can beat this guy given enough strategy. How come Karlak is small? Why is she small in that? Okay, get out of there. He's no longer melting, thank God. Um, do we have any healing potions? Doesn't look like it. I'm assuming this guy is going to take like no damage from Tav. Uh, I'm going to get away from him. And I'm going to... In Oh, I, I guess I can only do offhand attacks. Let's try it. 
four damage. I mean, it's not nothing. If he only had four health left, he would have died. So, you know. Um, the lava is waning. However, this would be a bonus action. I'm going to Misty Step. And I'm using a scroll for this. I'll have you know. Behind him. Nothing personal, Just kid. Hide. Sneak attack. It's ten. That's ten damage. That's that's pretty good. Okay, uh, we can't knock him prone anymore, like no matter what. So we're just gonna hope. I knocked him prone again. Oh my god. I, I don't think that that is a uh, like that. That is a passive thing she can do, and it's not guaranteed that she can do it every time. Fuck yes. So this is really good stuff right now. Um. Let's just have Karlak hit him. 22, 28. Oh my God, this is good stuff. I'm a little bit worried about where she is. So between rounds, I'm going to have her stand not in that layer. Um, what is Shadowheart going to do? Let's have her do another mass heal. Or just like, I guess, cure wounds on tab would be good enough. Good enough. And he's blessed. Um, have her heal herself, I guess. He's back up again. He hasn't actually gotten to attack yet. Threat assessment. Oh, ah, 25 damage. Oh. He had, he had disadvantage on that. Oh, oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, um, Karlak's the only one who's not, like, messed up by that. Threat assessment. I don't know what that means. But anyway, she's absolutely thrashing him. Have her move back on to that. Tav? Tav is doing fine. He's gonna go ahead and do another sneak attack. And uh, an offhand attack. Five damage. I mean, it's not nothing. Okay, uh, Lazel. Second win. Do you think we can knock you down, knock him down again? Oh, come on. Nope. Oh, he has two health left. Ah. Uh, yo, do we have Shadow Heart kill the guy? Put the final, final, uh, you know, just kind of whistle on him. I don't really have a ranged attack other than Guiding Bolt. This is a melee spell, so I can't really do it. Um, yeah, let's just do a guiding bolt. If I miss, it's fine. I I missed. You know what? He's 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 gonna attack next. I really would prefer that he doesn't. I guess the weapon doesn't get to have a turn, so he gets to move. Oh, Lazel just took twenty-four on the chin. Oh. Ouchie. Hey, uh, summoned weapon. You're just alive. You want to get the the kill? Oh my god. Zero. I can't even catch my breath. Okay. Come on. What? Why is he taking zero damage now? Is he, he's, I guess he's no longer molten. Did I like miss my chance? Nullified. Okay, so he's at full strength now. So am I screwed? Oh, wait a minute. I think I have an idea.
Yes. Yes, that's what we wanted. That's what we needed. Um, we just needed to put the lava back on. Is there anything that you can do right now? No. Fine, Lazel, you've done you've done enough. Can we get a kill? Reckless attack. Tenacity. Everything. <laughs> we did it. Kill the adamantine forge uh, golem without using the forge hammer. I just got an achievement. Phew, uh, that was messy. Should mind my step. I'm probably gonna need to do a long rest. It's not gonna cut it. What is this? Grim skull helm. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. Grants resistance to fire damage. Plus, you get Hunter's Mark. This is a very good weapon. Or a helmet, I should say. But we're not done yet, right? Um, pretty sure we still need to forge a, uh, some armor. I'm not going to leave you without that closure. Still not. Oh, there we go. Nice. Splint armor. Okay, Karlak, go ahead and grab that. And um, we're gonna go ahead and do this one once more. It won't budge. Okay, grab the splint mold, and then go ahead and put the. Uh, shield mold in there. Insert. Pretty sure Lazel has all... Oh, no, Carlax got one mithril or a uh, chunk, I'm pretty sure. Wait, that's Carlax. I just did. Uh, do you have the mithril? Yeah, you do, actually. Okay, make sure no one's on the... Apparently, lava just fills this place when uh, you interact with this, which is... Seems like a design flaw, but, you know. And then... We have, uh, I don't know if we're supposed to do this while the lava's in here. Can't believe I got away with, uh, killing that, the adamantine golem. I'm glad they, they had a, an alternative way to kill it. And not just, like, you need the special hammer. There's the adamantine shield. Cool, I'm glad I, uh, you know, I sucks that i had to look things up i always you know hate it when that is the case but you know i get it, it sometimes uh sometimes you just can't figure things out and you need a little helping hand so um let's give her a shield what do you mean all oh, right she can't wear that with the hammer so she's gonna wear the axe and put the shield look at that shield doesn't that look nice and won't it look even better once she can actually wear this adamantine splint armor we'll have to give her proficiency when she levels up but i guess that'll be in my private time and uh you know not for youtube um but like i say i'll keep the save on uh like i'll make a spare save on the off chance that things change and people want to see more of this from me um you know i'm not i'm not fishing for likes or anything like that but uh you, you have to understand that if a series isn't you know doing numbers and it tells me that uh, people don't really want it and i uh, as much as i'd like to do a series for like the 20 or 30 odd people that are enjoying it it just makes more sense for me to do and support series that are going to appeal to more than that um uh hit a broader range of, of people um i hope that you don't mind um i'm sorry it could uh, it had, had to be this way um if you somehow are you're in the overlap with battletech though there will be more battletech so there is that uh, but in any case if you did if you did enjoy this um 
hitting the like button would certainly go a long way to ensuring there's more of it um and uh and let me know what you thought in the in the comments i'll see you guys next time take it easy